Hey movie fans and welcome to a new video with this time the Blu-ray pickups of the month January. Uh, I only buy uh, a lot of Blu-rays this month, no DVDs, uh, so it's time to start. And I start off with the first Blu-ray I pick up and that is Boss Level. It's um, still sealed. It's based on things what I read about this movie. It's with a great cast also. I mean, Frank Grillo, Mel Gibson, Naomi Watch, and Michelle Yeoh, all in this great film. And it looks like a very strong, good movie as well. So I'm looking forward to watch it. I also pick up a great film with Bruce Willis, Tears of the Sun. Very good movie as well. I uh, always had this on DVD, but um, it was time to buy this on Blu-ray. A very good and strong movie. Another great movie is The Bridge on the River Kwai. Nominated of seven Oscars, and this is a classic movie from 1957. And I love the covers uh, with white and gold. It's very cool to have in the collection. Uh, the secrets we keep. And here I have the two movie collection of Sinister and Sinister 2. Two uh, great horror movies. I already have this on um, a DVD. But I saw this for a very great price and that was the reason I picked it up for in my Blu-ray collection. And I will be open it to show you the uh, Blu-rays. That is how it looked like. Sinister and Sinister 2. Great horror movies. Next I picked up with the same gold label is A Few Good Men with a fantastic cast, Tom Cruise, Demi Moore and Jack Nicholson. A very great uh, movie from 1992. Next is Kotika with Hal Berry. Not alone. I also pick up Vacancy, great movie. Uh, there's also a part two of Vacancy, but that is really horrible. If you see part one, then is part two really horrible. But there are many people who love part two also, or maybe more than part one. It's for all people different, but I love Vacancy Part 1. Really, really good movie. 2067, The Fight for the Future Has Begun. This looks really interesting. I am not a really fan of sci-fi or something. Um, and that is this movie, but it looks really interesting, and I think it's a pretty good film as well. So I will give it a chance. Uh, a Quiet Place, very, very good film. I saw this um, a couple of months, maybe a year ago on Netflix, and I was 
totally surprised about this movie. It is really, really good. And also a really strong movie. Um, there is a part two right now. It's out for a couple of months. And I will buy this soon as well. To have this um, movie uh, collection complete. Next one is Stakers. And here I have a great movie by Stanley Kubrick, A Clockwork Orange. I love the front cover a lot. It's great, it's mysterious, and it's very, very black. Just only a blue eye. And that makes the cover mysterious. Um, it is really bad because I never see this movie before so it will be soon the first time i will be watch a clockwork orange and there are different reviews about the movie some people call it really good and some people call it bad horrible sick i don't know but i want to see this one uh, the next I pick up is After We Fell. This is chapter 3. Uh, I am absolutely not a romantic movie fan. But this is with a bit drama. Um, the first movie and the second movie I saw at the cinema. And first, with the first movie after... I had something like, oh no, it's a romantic movie. Why? Why I'm sitting here with my popcorn, with my water, what I'm doing here? But actually it was the movie really good because it's not only romantic, it's more a drama. And it was great. So the second movie I also saw at the cinema. And yeah, then there was a lockdown again. So um, part three, I never <laughs> watched in the cinema, but I saw them on Blue. And I have also uh, the first two movies in my Blu-ray collection. So I picked this one up. I still haven't seen this one yet, but I want to make uh, the movie uh, complete. I believe there are five or six parts in totally of uh, the after collection. We will see. The next one is Space Jam, a new legacy. I was a child, uh, a big fan of Space Jam, and I have Space Jam, uh, the movie, the original movie in my DVD collection. It's really hard to find on Blu ray, but This is the remake, A New Legacy. And when I was a child, I was a big fan of Tasmanian. He was great. But I also love, that's my dog. <laughs> but I also love um, Daffy Duck, Sylvester, but also Bugs Bunny, of course. It's great. So I'm looking forward to watch uh, yeah, Space Jam again. Oh yeah, Porky Pig. I totally forgot uh, a couple of um, cartoons. Um, I don't forgot his name. But yeah, childhood favorites people. Really childhood favorites. And then it's time for the last three Blu-rays. Three Disney Blu-rays. The first is Luca. Really great. I also have Cruella, finally. Cruella the film. 
And the last one of the pickups of January 2022 is Jungle Cruise with Emily Blunt and Dwayne Johnson. And I'm really looking forward to watch this movie. I mean, I saw a couple of times the trailer and it looks be amazing. It looks be really, really, really amazing. So I can't wait to watch the movie. And that is it. The um, Blu-ray pickups of the month January 2022. I hope you enjoy my video. Uh, please subscribe and uh, let me know what is your favorite Disney movie from these three. Is that Jungle Cruise, Cruella or Luca? And maybe I have another question. First, what is your favorite Disney movie of these three movies? And what is your all time favorite Disney movie? Please let me know. I, I, I don't know what is mine. I have different movies from Disney I really, really like and love. I think I can't answer this question, but maybe it is the rescuers down under. Maybe is that my all time favorite Disney movie, but I am not really sure because I like a lot of Disney movies. So um, I will let you know the answer later. And of course, I let you know later the answer of which three movies, which of three, these three movies are my favorite, because I still haven't seen them all. Guys, girls, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.